Hello and welcome to day 25 of 30 days of Lightroom. Today we're doing a program overview of Lightroom on your computer, which syncs over the cloud perfectly to Lightroom Mobile. Hello and welcome back to our series where we teach you everything you need to know about Lightroom in 30 days. Now, today we're doing a program overview of Lightroom, which is the cloud-based editing program on your computer. It syncs perfectly with Lightroom Mobile. So if you're interested in having your images in the cloud so you can access them at any time, it's a perfect way to back up your photos and you can edit them on your computer as well as your mobile device, this is a great program for you. It's different from Lightroom Classic, which was what we have been using, which is a little bit more of an advanced program for organizing and editing your images on your computer. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and give you a program tour of Adobe Lightroom. So here we are in Adobe Lightroom. And as you can see, I don't have anything in my view just yet. So we're gonna go ahead and go to where it says add photos. Now I'm in my cloud module, meaning anything that I add here is automatically gonna sync to the cloud. So let's go to add photos. Now I'm just gonna click and drag my photos right over here. These are the sample images that are actually included with today's video. So you can download these and follow along totally free. These are raw images. Just follow the link right down below to get access. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit review for import. Everything looks good. So these I chose some like yoga type images. We're gonna go to add three photos. Fantastic. So now we have these photos and you can see my cloud icon is working. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see it's, uh, there we go, it's syncing all three items. So these are automatically going to the cloud. So this is the big difference with Lightroom on your computer. And of course it says Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Web. All of it is gonna be synced together. Fantastic. So we're gonna start off with a program overview, basically just showing you everything this program has to offer. A lot of the functionality is very similar to Lightroom Classic, so we're not gonna go in and show you every single little slider, but I wanna show you where everything is located. So starting off, this is kind of the big thing that we wanna talk about, our cloud and our local module. Now, when this program came out, it only had cloud-based editing, but now you can actually work with your images on your local device. So you can use it kind of as a replacement for Lightroom Classic if you want to. So right here, we're gonna be spending most of our time on our cloud, but I do wanna mention this local because it's important. So here in this local, it's actually showing me where these files are on my computer. And you can see we're at day 25, and these are the sample images for day 25. So these are the images on my computer, and I can go ahead and edit them. But if I'm in local mode, any edits that I make are not going to be syncing to the cloud. So that's just one big heads up, okay? But if you don't wanna work with cloud-based editing, you can still use this program. Now we're gonna move back into cloud-based editing and go ahead down the list and show you how everything looks. So we've already gone over add photos. Now we have a learn tab, which is fantastic. We have all of these fantastic tutorials that are built into the program to teach you everything you need to know. We have our community tab and here you can see all these featured images and you can even have your own profile, see features following and you can remix images as well. People can upload their images publicly and you can actually edit their images, which is super cool as well. Now, here you have all of your photos. So these are all of the photos that I've put into my Lightroom catalog. These are the top three that we're gonna be working with today. And you can see your recent imports. Now, if you wanna view your photos a little bit differently, you can do that using these icons right down here. So you have a few different views. You can see all your images here, a little bit more information. You can do a side by side and you can see the loop view. So very similar to Lightroom Classic. Let's go ahead and back, go back to all of our photos. So we're gonna just collapse all photos real quick here. There we go. And we have our different albums. So you can create albums very simply here in the Lightroom. And I'm gonna create one called Yoga. So let's go ahead and click on this plus icon. We're gonna go to Create Album. There we go. All right, we'll just call this Yoga. And you know what? I guess two of my photos are already selected, this one and this one. So it's gonna include both of those. Let's hit Create. And here you can see it says Yoga but this one wasn't in there. I'm gonna simply click and drag it right over there. And then now this is in my yoga album. Fantastic. So we've already seen our different views. You can sort your images as you want by capture date, import date, all these different settings here. You can still give your image star ratings and flags as well. So it's a great way to cull through your photos. 
you can copy edit settings from one image to another, just like we can in Lightroom Classic. So if you have a series of photos and you want to edit just one of those photos and then copy that and then paste them a bunch on a lot of different images, you can do that too. Now here you have a little slider which will make your images smaller or larger. There we go, nice interactive way to view through your photos. And we're just gonna go nice and big because I think that looks good. And that's pretty much here on the left hand side. Now we have our album so we can go ahead and click on share. These are images that are that are shared with you and you can share your images with others as well. And this is a big advantage of Lightroom is that everything is cloud-based so it's very easy to share. So if you'd like to share your images, first thing you wanna do is put them in an album, just like we did, okay? So we have our album Yoga right here. We're gonna go right here at the very top to where it says Yoga and then over on the right-hand side, we're gonna see a little plus icon with an avatar, share and invite. So we're gonna go ahead and click there. All you have to do is enter an email there and go ahead and click on invite and you can choose the settings that you like. You can choose view, you can choose contribute where they can actually add photos to that album as well. And you can even allow them editing settings with your photos. And if you go into your settings, you can choose to allow them to comment and like your images as well. So it's a fantastic way not to only work with images in the cloud, but to share them with your clients. So we've gone over everything on the left hand side, which is basically the organization here in Lightroom Classic. This is where we view our photos. Now let's go ahead and double click on one of our images. Here you can see our film strip down on the bottom so I can see all of the images in this particular album. And if you wanna hide your film strip, you can do that simply by clicking on this icon here and you can hide your left sidebar right here. So Lightroom is incredibly customizable. You can get everything out of the way so you can focus just on your photograph. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring everything back. So let's go ahead and bring back our left sidebar and we're gonna go right down here to our film strip as well. Now let's go ahead and choose this photograph and we're gonna move into editing. So our editing features are located here on the right hand side and as you can see they look very similar to the editing features in Lightroom Classic. So starting off with the presets, we have recommended presets. Now these are presets from the Lightroom community. Sometimes they're a little bit strong, but that's okay. If you click on one, and you like it, but maybe you don't want such a strong amount, you can actually just lower down the amount slider just like that, okay? And if you wanna undo, all you have to do is come click right here on the undo and it'll reset your preset. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now we're gonna go into the premium. You have these adaptive presets here on the top. For instance, adaptive subject, which will identify your subject and actually change how your subject looks in your photo. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Just warms up the light on our subject. And again, I have an amount that I can add or subtract from my subject as well. And I can reset it here also. Now, don't forget you can create your own preset as well, simply clicking by this plus icon. So if you do a color grade, for instance, and you wanna make a preset out of it, very easy to do. Okay, now moving on to our editing. With our editing, we have our auto feature, just like we do in Lightroom Classic, and all of these exact same sliders that we do in Lightroom Classic. For instance, if we have our lens blur, we wanna add a little bit of lens blur. Let's go ahead and apply this. It's gonna automatically detect your subject, estimate the depth, and then blur the background beautifully. And here we can choose less or more background blur. Look how beautifully that works. I absolutely love this feature. Now here in our light settings, we have all the same settings that we do in Lightroom Classic. Exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, all of these things. We can go into our color and here's where we can adjust our color temperature and we can even do some color grading if we'd like, okay? So if you're familiar with Lightroom Classic, these are literally the exact same tools that we love in Lightroom Classic, ported over to Lightroom. Next, we're gonna have our cropping. Here you can see you can straighten your image out, you can crop it, you can click here on any one of these corners and crop, there we go. That looks pretty good. Just focus a little bit more on our subject and hit enter. I like that composition a little bit more. We do have object removal here, AI object removal. There we go, just make sure you click on that. And if I zoom in here, you can actually see there's a couple people in the background. So we're gonna simply paint over this person we're gonna paint over this person as well and then click here on remove and it's going to remove them automatically using AI. All right, it's gonna take just a second to do this and boom, they are gone. Next, we're gonna move into our masking. This will automatically detect people so you can click on the person 
And let's go ahead and create a mask for the person. And maybe we want to bring our exposure up just a little bit and the contrast up. And again, this is only going to be visible on that subject. I'm doing pretty subtle adjustments there. Let's make it a little stronger so you can see that before and after. There we go. Let's go ahead and bump up our contrast just a little bit and make our color temperature a little bit warmer as well. Fantastic. So with these masking capabilities, they work the same as they do in Lightroom Classic. You have the ability to create new masks, select the subject, sky, background, individual people, and of course you can select objects, use your brush tool, linear and radial gradient as well. And then color range and luminance range. Those aren't used as much, but they are available to us as well. And last we have our history where you can also create versions of your images. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our masking. There we go, and move right down into our history. Here you can see I can go back to my original, and if I want to, where it says auto, I can go to named, I can actually create a version here. I'll just call this 01 and hit create. And here we can see this is our original image and then 01, which is the version that I made now. So you can make a couple different versions of your images as you'd like, and then click between them. We had a couple more settings to go over, including sharing, commenting, and exporting. Okay, now right over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna see your comment dialogue. Now, if you share your image or share the entire album with a person, all the comments are gonna be loaded right here. So if you're working in collaboration, the comments load directly in Lightroom. Next, we're gonna see key wording. So you can actually add keywords to your images as you'd like, although this program does AI keywording. So if you were to search, let's say we're gonna search, and you know what, I'm gonna just search everything in my entire photos. I'm gonna type in, uh, let's say type in beach. There we go, and hit enter. Well, it's gonna come up with all of my photos. There we go, you can see this here on the bottom. It's gonna come up with all of the photos in my entire, entire library that match beach. How incredible is that? So all of this, I didn't have to type in those keywords. This is using AI to identify that information. So let's go ahead and close that back down. We're gonna to go to our yoga folder and go back to this image. Next, we have our information. This actually gives you all the information about this individual file. So you can see all these features really are in Lightroom Classic and they're here in Lightroom as well. Um, they're just a little bit more streamlined. So it's not like taking up a lot of visual space and it's not there if you don't need to see it. All right, let's go ahead and close that out as well. Now, here on the bottom, we've so or on the top, we've showed you how this search bar works. You don't really have to keyword anymore because it uses AI to know what's in your photos. And here you can filter through your results and you have all of these different filtering options as well, just like we've shown you how to use in Lightroom Classic. And at the very top, you have notifications. If you get a new comment or someone likes your work, you can see it there. And here is how you export your images out. So let's go ahead right here at the very bottom. Remember, we showed you this before and after, sorry, we showed you this uh, film strip, making the film strip visible and invisible. Right over here next to it is the before and after view. So here you can see there's a before and the after edit. Perfect. So once you're done with the after, if you did want to put this out, maybe you want to upload it to social media, you're still going to have to export it. So that's where this export option comes in here. There we go. And you can see you can export with custom settings. You have all the custom settings that you could choose in Lightroom Classic, or you can go ahead and use these quick ones. Like it's small JPEG, a large JPEG, an original, and with previous settings. So the last time you export it out, you can just send it to the exact same place. And of course you have your sharing. So you can get a link, share this publicly, or you can invite individual people. You can share this community to the entire community and then allow remixes. Well, we talked about earlier, community right over here and then remixes. So anyone in the world could edit your photo. It's a really cool option that's only available in Lightroom. And the last thing we're gonna cover are the cloud settings. So go up here to the very top right, and here is your cloud storage. So you can see I have 146 images in 10 different albums. I'm using 7.1 gigs of 100 gigabytes. Now you can see I personally have plenty of cloud storage left, but if you're getting full, you can go ahead and view plans and purchase additional cloud storage. Now you can see this on your different devices through Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom Web, and here you can see that I am synced and backed up. So if I view my before and after, all these changes that I make are perfectly synced to the cloud. And because they're synced to the cloud, it's all available on my phone. So you can see I have all of my images right here. I can go ahead and click on this photograph. I can zoom in and make any edits here that I'd like, and they're automatically going to sync across all of my devices. So that's the wonderful part about Lightroom. 
and Lightroom Mobile as they sync perfectly through the cloud. I've said cloud like 500 times right now, but you get the idea. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and our tour of Adobe Lightroom. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment right down below. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to get more free tutorials, simply click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.